Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, as you can see behind me, the Halloween Village is down. We've uh, undecorated for for Halloween and we've started, uh, we've got some fall decorations out and to kind of carry us through uh, to Thanksgiving. But I told you in the last video, I'm sort of behind the power curve, getting ready to build uh, and display our Christmas stuff. And so this year, uh, honestly, is the first year that we've done a uh, Christmas display of this, uh, of this magnitude and it's not huge, but there's a couple of vignettes that I'm gonna create and then a, uh, probably a 10 foot long uh, Christmas village uh, that I'll do tutorials uh, every step of the way so you guys can follow along. But today, we're gonna jump right into the first uh, Christmas tutorial of a vignette uh, that I'm going to build and it's gonna be um, placed at the entranceway of our home. When you come through the front door, we've got sort of a little uh, a little alcove there, a little, uh, a long little uh, shelf, uh, I guess you would call it. Uh, and so this piece is gonna display prominently right as you walk through uh, the door. And so what I've got for that is I found this, uh, this gift set. It is the, uh, the uh, Church of the Holy Light. And I'm gonna zoom in on that because it is a great uh, Department 56 piece, and it's got the stained glass windows that light up when the home, uh, when the house and the church uh, lights up. It's also got a little nativity scene uh, there, and it comes with some folks and uh, some trees and, and things like that. So uh, what I wanted to do was build a, a vignette or a diorama just featuring this piece in sort of a country type setting, lots of fresh snow, some, you know, bigger trees, and uh, just sort of a peaceful uh, scene as you come into our home. Uh, in addition to that, to complement the stained glass window, I want to put uh, in the church, I want to put a bigger stained glass window behind the church as a backdrop. And so I'll show you guys all of that and how we plan on doing that. So with that, uh, let's jump right in and take a look at the uh, sort of the steps that I've, I've done so far to get ready to start working on this piece. Okay, guys, as you can see here, I have got uh, everything out of the box and, and laid out on the platform that I plan on using. Now, uh, to start with, I took the white foam, which is uh, polystyrene that I got at Home Depot, uh, it is uh, the two inch variety. It comes in a big four by eight sheet and I cut uh, what I needed to use off of that. Now, uh, to, to display this where I want to put it, uh, I wanted it to be about two foot in length, so coming this way, and then the width of it going this direction uh, needs to fit on that countertop that I told you about earlier, and that's about 17 inches wide. And so I've cut that to 17 inches. And then what I plan on doing is taking my uh, hot foam uh, factory um, uh, foam tools and cutting the, the front of this and the side of this to, to look like rock. And so I've just arbitrarily placed a few trees uh, where I think they ought to go. I've, as we come around and look at the side, you can see that uh, going into this, the front of the church, I've drawn a little pathway. I'm gonna cut individual uh, stones out of foam uh, for a cobblestone walkway. If you watched my Halloween videos, uh, you saw the cemetery. Uh, it's going to be the same concept as that. Um, it's got the little nativity scene, and so I've got to I've got to cut holes. And as you can see, if I you know raise up the the church, uh, I've got uh, marked for some holes that I've got to cut. And so just kind of getting the preliminary drawings down and, and everything else down. And then I told you that uh, we found a window uh, or what looks like a, a sort of a window at Hobby Lobby, I believe. We got this knowing that we were gonna do a project like this coming up. Uh, we got this a few months ago uh, when it was on sale and then found uh, some stained glass uh, film uh, on Amazon. And I'll throw a link to that in the description of the video below. Uh, 
There's a lot of this stuff online, but uh, quite honestly, it was hard to find uh, kind of the color and the pattern we were going for. This is not exactly what I had in mind, but it's uh, about the closest thing that we could find. And so uh, I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna trace this out uh, is what I'm gonna do, and then cut it with just a simple pair of scissors, and then I'm gonna hot glue it to the back of this window frame. And then if you come up here with me, you can see that, uh, that um, uh, marker in the back of the, uh, the diorama there, the vignette, that is going to be where uh, that is going to go. So I'm gonna cut that out with a hot foam tool, and essentially I just put this on and traced around it. And then the way this is designed to look when it's all said and done, I know it's hard to get the zoom uh, right here, but that's that's similar to what it's uh, it's going to look like. And then I'm going to put a, a set of white uh, white Christmas lights uh, behind this to kind of illuminate off the wall behind it, uh, and then reflect, uh, hopefully through that stained glass film, to kind of match and mirror the stained glass here. And so when it's all done and it's all put together. Uh, this will look totally different. A lot of rocks. This will be painted to look like rocks, a cobblestone walkway, and then the whole scene covered uh, in some snow. Also, I'm going to take uh, joint compound, and I'll do uh, part of the tutorial on that as well. And I'm going to run a bead of uh, joint compound around either side of this and then in some other strategic places to, to pile it up to where once I put the glue on it and then put the snow on it, it'll look like snow drifts, like somebody has cleared the walkway so folks can get into the church. And then some, as the wind blows, some, you know, just some drifts out into the field and in the, the front of the churchyard there and then around some of the trees to where it gives it a little more uh, texture, gives it a little more feel that it's, uh, it's natural and it looks real. So, uh, hopefully you've liked this so far. This is where we're at right now. I'm going to take a break and then I'm going to go out and, uh, uh, outside and take my foam tools and start carving. Uh, once I come back in, I will show you what the carved piece looks like and we'll get started on cutting the film for that window and hot gluing that down. Uh, and then we'll go from there. So, uh, I'll be back. Okay, so I've been out to the garage and I've taken the time to um, take the base and uh, carved it to uh, my liking. This is the front of the, uh, the piece and so uh, sort of a rocky front on the, the, uh, the front and the sides, uh, all the sides all the way around. Don't really need anything in the back because it's going to be setting up against the wall or very close to the wall. So. Don't really need to see that uh, anyway. And then I've taken uh, uh, the uh, foam factory tools and, and put a hole where the light is gonna come up for the, for the house, for the church. Uh, an accessory for the manger comes up through here. The manger goes in here, runs underneath and comes up here to the back of the church. And then I've uh, cut out where the uh, stained glass window is gonna sit in there to hold it upright uh, and give it a good look. And so all of that is cut and carved to my liking. On the back, uh, I took the trenching tool, the freehand routing tool, and connected for the, um, where the um, nativity scene goes in, uh, and then all the way to where I'm gonna run the cord to the back of the church, and then up through there, and then the light cord uh, is trenched out all the way through and comes out the side where the uh, power cord sits as it sits upright uh, like this. And so that is all done. And now this is ready, quite honestly, for some joint compound to, uh, to kind of resemble some snow banks and some drifts. Uh, and then it's ready for paint. So pretty easy. And then, uh, so that's done. And so now what would I'd like to do is uh, start in on the, uh, the window and cutting that film and then we're gonna hot glue that onto there. And I think uh, that'll probably do it for at least this segment of uh, the tutorial. So without further delay, let's get into to cutting that film and gluing it onto the window. 
Okay, so you can see that I've got the window uh, here and I've got this film laid down and ready to go. Now it's already got uh, a very, very straight edge. So there's really no need to cut that piece of it. So I'm just gonna sort of line it up. I've got about, I don't know, what is that? Probably a, an inch or so, uh, maybe a little bit more than that to work with. So I'm just gonna lay that down uh, on two sides, the, the side here and then the bottom and kind of line that up to where I, I minimize the cutting that I have to do. Uh, make sure that that is good. Um, and it looks fairly good. Enough, I, I need enough to hot glue down. And then I'm simply going to uh, trace up at the top here on this piece, hold this down flush. Trace there. Okay, so that's what I'm left with, uh, is that. Now let's uh, test fit this and see how that's going to look. Obviously, we're going to turn this over to the back side. Turn this over to the back side. Now this has this film on it that you can certainly, uh, you know, you can rip off and uh, uh, use uh, that way. I don't want to do that uh, because is if I do sprinkle snow or anything else on uh, on it, the, all of this will be exposed and it'll all be sticky. Uh, and I don't think it, I, I don't want uh, a bunch of stuff stuck to that. So I see that if I slide this down just a little bit, it meets the intent of what I'm trying to do, but I do need to cut the bottom off just a little bit. So if I can just kind of go straight across like this, I think that will be sufficient to do what I'm wanting to do. And then that works like that. So you can kind of see how that's laid out there. And so now uh, I've got the hot glue gun and I'm just gonna work in small little sections at a time. I think uh, this is gonna be, um, I've never done this, so we'll see. I'm going to see if this is ready, and it looks like it is, so. Okay, so not, not bad. You can see some wrinkles in it. I'm not uh, too thrilled with that, but I think uh, by and large, it's gonna, look, it's gonna look pretty nice in there. So uh, let's test fit this uh, into the piece and uh, see where we go from there. Okay, so you can now see that everything is placed uh, the way that I've kind of pictured it in my mind. Uh, the church is uh, lit up. The uh, window in the back will have some, again, white lights around that once I get to that part. Uh, it looks pretty good, though, uh, just looking through the ambient light through the window behind it. Uh, you can kind of see that the, the nativity scene is also uh, lit up pretty good. Church looks good. Uh, and so that's kind of the vignette that I had in my mind. Once it's painted and covered in snow, uh, Kind of maybe a bench and some folks sitting out there. I think it'll look uh, look pretty good. So um, with that, yeah, I think we're I think we're good. I'm gonna walk around to this side so you can kind of see that the uh, everything is sort of down through down through sort of where we cut uh, the church in the back down through there. You can see the cord coming out there and into the plug. 
And then the church uh, or the uh, window obviously fits uh, pretty snug right in there. I may have to shim that up a little bit. It has a tendency to maybe want to lean forward a little bit, but a couple of little uh, styrofoam shims will take care of that. So that's a, that's a closer look uh, at the Church of the Holy Light uh, vignette uh, as we are preparing to uh, get our Christmas and holiday season started. Okay, so now it comes time to, uh, for me to go back out and start cutting individual cobblestones. Probably should have done that ahead of time, but uh, I'm just getting caught up uh, myself. And so I'm gonna go cut some cobblestone uh, out of some uh, pink uh, XPS foam uh, and get that done. And then I'm gonna uh, kind of show you how I glue that onto the, uh, the base. We're gonna let that dry and then we'll put some joint compound uh, as that's drying down. Uh, kind of form that around for some snow drifts and snow mounds. Uh, that kind of gives us some little, uh, you know, a little more texture, a little more uh, realism uh, before we start the painting process. So with that, let me go cut those foam uh, cobblestones and I'll be back. Okay, so I've, I'm back. I've uh, finished cutting um, some uh, cobblestone. Uh, I basically took uh, the pink styrofoam and uh, just uh, shredded a bunch of it up using the, uh, I didn't shred it up, I cut it up using the Proxon uh, hot wire table. Uh, cut some really thin strips and then uh, just uh, started cutting it, uh, you know, in four or five uh, stacks deep. Uh, and uh, so it took me, I don't know, three or four minutes. That's the beauty about the hot wire table is you can do things like this incredibly quick. So now I'm gonna take these I'm gonna take uh, some Elmer's uh, glue all and one of these little sponges. Uh, and then I'm gonna go along that, uh, that pathway leading out of the church up to the front of the vignette, uh, put some glue down and then start placing the uh, styrofoam for uh, cobblestone pieces. Now there's two ways that you can, um, you can get the texture on there. Uh, I've seen several videos where they take uh, those uh, cobblestones that I've just created, they put them into a like a coffee can or a bucket of some sort with a lid on it with uh, some rocks, uh, and then they just start shaking it up, um, you know, pretty vigorously for you know five or ten minutes, and those rocks fly around and and really dent up the uh, uh, the styrofoam on both sides, so you have a, a good brick or cobblestone texture. Or uh, you can simply glue them down and as they start to, once they're dry, you can take a foil, a aluminum foil, roll it up. And you've seen me do that on the Halloween uh, Villages and roll that foam uh, across the top, or roll that uh, aluminum foil across the top of the cobblestone, get the same effect. So either way you can do it. I've never tried the putting it in a container with a lid and shaking it up with the rocks. So I may try that just to see what it, uh, how it turns out. Uh, but irrespective of how I decide to do the texturing, let's go ahead and get this, uh, get these glued down. Okay, so when I shut the camera down just a half a second ago, I did go outside and use rocks uh, in this container, and I'm pretty impressed. I don't know that you can see that, but uh, I put a bunch of rocks in there and then uh, shook this, uh, actually put it in a bigger plastic uh, tub and shook this pretty good. And I'm pretty pleased with the texture that it actually put on these and it did it rather quickly. So I may use that method from here on out. And then if you know, when I glue them down, I don't like the texture completely. I can always go over it with, uh, with uh, aluminum foil, but uh, pretty impressed with that technique. So with that, we're going to start gluing these down. Okay, guys, I think that's going to cover uh, the cobblestone uh, pathway. Uh, obviously, I got to let that dry. It's, uh, it's going to take uh, probably a few hours for that to dry. 
Uh, and so once that's done, we'll be back. Okay guys, so what I've decided to do is I'm gonna let that cobblestone dry completely. And then what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to paint that black, go over it with some grays and some dry brushing to get it to look like cobblestone. And I wanna do all of that and let that cure before I start putting the joint compound on. That's gonna be one of the last things that I do. So I'm gonna end the tutorial part one here. Uh, and then you have to come back and see part two and uh, probably finish this in, in either two or three uh, tutorials. Haven't made up my mind yet, but hey, I appreciate you joining me for, uh, for this first build of the Christmas season. Uh, the vignette that's going to go inside the front of our home. Uh, if you like the video, please click the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing that. Again, it helps to keep me motivated and fired up to keep pushing these videos out. Um, I will start reviewing some Christmas homes as we go through the rest of the weeks. Uh, and then uh, here in another few days, I'll post uh, part two of this uh, Christmas vignette. So uh, you guys take care. Enjoy the rest of your week. We'll see you real soon.